Welcome to the U.S. Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases. That mouthful is usually shortened to USAMRIT. It's a place where lab coats and camouflage go hand in hand, where microscopes and test tubes replace guns, and where hazmat suits protect government scientists from the danger of biological threats and infectious diseases. It's known as the birthplace of medical biodefense research. What does that mean? Well, the scientists and service members here do research and help develop treatments and vaccines to protect the U.S. soldier around the world. But if you think the work done here is just to help the military, Chief of Viral Immunology Dr. John Dye has this eye-opener about their mission. But also to help protect the globe in that what we develop will eventually be mainstreamed into normal society. And like normal society right now, we at WUSA 9 are practicing social distancing. So the Army sent us this video of the labs and their work there. Officials say their new building is the largest and most complex biocontainment facility ever designed. And it's right here in Maryland near downtown Frederick. These guys know what they're doing. They played crucial roles with research during outbreaks of Ebola, SARS and MERS. Right now, they're focused on a vaccine and treatment for COVID-19, according to USAMRID commander Colonel Darren Cox. Just the significant impact it's having not only in, in the United States, but across the world, right? And so there's a sense of urgency. So where do they stand now on the vaccine front? So we are currently working with multiple entities where those vaccines um, can be provided to use SAMRIT for us to assess in those animal models. So the gold standard that most people use are monkeys or non-human primates. As for treatments. Our institute and many other institutes are currently testing different small molecules and drugs that are currently on the market and also in development. Multiple options are also going into clinical trials to figure out how the drugs and vaccines will work in the human body, not just in the lab. Dai thinks that data will start coming in over the next couple months. What kind of pressure are you all under when you see how contagious COVID-19 is? We know that for every day we take longer, we're allowing this virus to take a greater hold on the world. What is it like to know that what you all are working on right now could help your neighbor, your family member, someone you know, someone you might pass on the street? So it's actually very, um, it's very emotional. This disease is in our own backyard. It reminds us why we keep coming to work every day, why we keep doing this, that we're doing it for the greater good. We also asked Dr. Dai when a treatment or vaccine might be available to the general public. He says the timeline they're talking about right now is six months to a year. While that might seem like a long time off, here's some perspective. Normally, this kind of work 